VP Racing is all about performance fuels, including SEF small engine fuel. It contains no ethanol, ensuring easier starts, worry-free long-term storage, and fewer repairs. Check out SEF, the perfect fuels for gas-powered tools. All right, here we're at the finish of the Olympus Rally. It's the final round of the 2012 Rally America National Championship. Coming into this event, we already knew who had won the championship overall. Subaru driver David Higgins had ran away with the overall championship back at New England Forest Rally up in the, in the Northeast a couple months ago. Coming here, we still had to decide who was going to win Super Production and Two Wheel Drive. And based on who we're going to see on this podium in just a second in Super Production and Two Wheel Drive, it's going to explain who our champion is. In Super Production, come here, David Sterix had the chance to take the win away from Lachlan O'Sullivan and had a bit of a mishap yesterday giving the championship to Lachlan O'Sullivan. Um, a local driver, uh, Byron Garth and Chrissy Beavis have been competing in super production, had a really good run this weekend. It looks like they're second place. And then uh, Evan Klein and Greg Dorman actually showed up here in fourth place in super production. And with David Sterick's exit from the event, it looks like they've had the chance to move their situation up forward to a second place finish in super production for the 2012 championship. Two-wheel drive. Chris DuPlessis came here uh, in the lead, the likely two-wheel drive national champion, but ACP had the chance to take it away if Chris didn't finish the event and ACP won. Obviously, wild card Will Orders was in the mix all the way up until the very last stage. Uh, Will Orders had the chance to take over the lead and win two-wheel drive here this weekend, but uh, he went out on the last stage with some mechanical difficulties. Chris has completed the last stage, so Chris DuPlessis is your two-wheel drive 2012 National Rally Champion. Uh, second place will be Andrew Comrie Picard. And I currently don't know who third place is, I gotta tell you the truth. So we'll be uh, bringing you all those stories as we interview the different drivers that have taken championships to today, uh, this weekend. We'll also cruise around, talk to some other folks, see how the dust was, see what their experience was for Olympus 2012. We're also going to bring you, I think, some words from the landowners and the track here. With the, we're at the Ridge Motorsports Park. This track is about a year old or so, and it's one of the more dynamic tracks I've seen because of the elevation change. It's a pretty, pretty daring track, actually, for a driver to really want to get all the time out of that they can. Um, we might uh, grab Ken Block and get a word. Every time we seem to try to grab him this weekend, we're not, we haven't gotten a good interview with him yet. Um, who else do we want to grab? And, and what's our time? Are we about to do a... Champagne deal. Yeah, is he around? Yeah, let's do that. How's it going? Good, how are you doing? Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. So, um, tell us your name and what you do here at the track. Um, my name's Rod Powell, and I'm one of the owners of the track, so I do uh, literally everything from take care of the surface to drive as fast as I can to empty garbage. <laughs> <laughs> we met a year ago. I was lucky enough to benefit from doing a little bit of advertising for these guys driving in a different uh, rally competition here a year ago. How's the track shaping up, and do you have members? Do you have a lot of just uh, track crews that come out and run club events, or what? Yeah, it's primary. Uh, it's built for club-level racing and club-level events, track day events. We don't have a membership model. So in other words, we're not a country club type track. We are open to the general public. We build it specifically to serve the amateur market. Um, we're being approached by a number of pro-sanctioning bodies, which we expect would happen, but our, our charter is to, is to have a safe, fast facility for people that, you know, want to be on track and then go home with their vehicles intact. Well, I have been hoping to get a ride around the track, to at least see the whole thing. I've been looking at some of the different features. Uh, I, do you call that a corkscrew, this big, uh, we big... Try, we try to avoid the corkscrew <laughs> nomenclature because we're afraid Laguna will, will, <laughs> might not like it. But it is, it is very similar to the corkscrew, yeah. So okay. it's, sorry, that's, and that's the only, that's the safest way to get down from the upper elevation. We've got 300 feet of elevation change, so you've got to... You got to get people down in a safe manner without wadding up their cars. <laughs> Very cool. Well, Rod, thanks for helping the rally happen, for hosting the event here, for letting us have a super special on the track. And again, I'll catch up with you later. I'd love to get a ride around the track and check it out. All right, man. All right. right thanks, Rod. Nice yeah. to see you. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Nate, catch up with me later. I'll jump in the truck. We'll go. Well, cool. I'll tweet my wife's Toronto. That thing will scare the shit out of me. <laughs> awesome. So I'm going to be scared shitless in a, in a Murano around the track here in a little while. Um, believe we're going to get started on this. Deal. Let's, maybe we'll go ahead and grab Ken. Some of the stuff will come like the monster thing was through the agent and through.
monster. Yeah. And then we see if we can work it in. It's like a couple rally cars without any damage. That's always nice at the end of a rally. Are you getting going? Uh, yeah, let me just tell you. Okay. I'm going to bring Rod Powell out first. Okay. These guys are all going to stand in front of their cars. And Rod Powell, I'm going to introduce him, who's the track owner. He's going to say just a couple words. And then I'm going to get into the champagne. We'll do third, third, second, first mm -hmm. champagne. And then we'll bring him down and do the trophies afterwards. Okay. And then we'll, then you guys will do your interviews. Yep. And after the, the, after um, the trophies. photos draw, die, die down, yep. we'll come do our interviews. Yep. And cool. then they'll leave, they'll be free to go, and then we'll do SP. Sounds good. Okay. And All then right. at the very end, we're going to do two-wheel drive. And Ford actually has a two-wheel drive banner that we'll, we'll capture. And they want to do some stuff with that. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Thanks, Paul. All right, so there we've got the, the layout. We just interviewed Rod from the track. He's going to come up and address the, the audience and, and everyone here in attendance. Um, it actually happens to be a great place for us to have the rally based, uh, and with access to a real track there, it makes it really cool as well. So it looks like we're going to get started. I'll bring you the whole experience here, being at the finish of a national rally championship event. Good morning once again. My name is Paul Giblin, I'm with Rally America, and I'd like to thank you all for being here today. Thank you all for your help throughout the weekend. It's been an amazing weekend, certainly a difficult weekend with the, uh, with the dangers of the fire. But uh, before we get going, how about a round of applause to the organizers and all the volunteers that made this happen. It could not have happened without your help. All of your it uh, was an amazing process. What we'd, what we'd like to do first before we get on to recognize our overall champions, I'd like to bring Rod Powell up. Rod is the owner of the Ridge Motorsports Park and our host for the past couple days. So uh, Rod has a couple words to say, so everybody, Rod Powell. Thank you very much. Um, this is my wife, Karen, she's very integral to the, to the racetrack. We started this project six years ago. Uh, got a permit about a lifetime ago, I don't know. At any rate, thank you very much for coming out. Thank you guys for coming out and competing. Any motorsports, as far as we're concerned, is good motorsports. And next year, you will see pavement here and a drag strip there, and you'll actually be able to paddock on hard stuff if you decide to come back. So thanks a lot for coming out. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Thanks very much, Rod. All right, now this is what we all came here for. We're going to give out some hardcore spray some champagne. So, ladies and gentlemen, in third place at the 2012 Olympus Rally, on my left, Antoine Lestage and Natalie Richard, Rockstar Mitsubishi. In second place, your 2012 overall champions on my left, Craig Drew, and David Higgins. And the winners of the 2012 Olympus Rally in the center, Alex Del Cimino and Ken Block. Drivers, co-drivers, if you take your place up on your cars as normal, and we'll pass you something to spray. How about a round of applause for these champions? Yeah. All of them, they're all champions. Now before they go too far, I'm going to ask them all to step down in front of their cars. And we have some awards to hand out. So we're here at the Ladies finish of the Olympus Rally. We've just given out some trophies, had a champagne spray. Olympus Rally. If you'd hold your I'm going to jump in there and get some interviews so in just a second. <laughs> Craig. <laughs> Slippy, maybe. Hold 
it's like Subaru calls the factory making their hoods and say, well, we need a really light weight hood, but we want to be able to stand on it. group photo here and then we're going to shoot in there and talk to Antoine, work our way across and talk to every of the drivers. Okay, let's get a family picture here. All you guys get nice and close and we apologize on share some love and we'll get some pictures here. So Antoine, this 20 mile stage today, how'd it go for you? Ah, uh, went okay. We went really slow because we had we were a minute forty behind behind David, and uh, we had quite a good gap uh, ahead of uh, Lachlan behind us. So uh, took it easy. Did you see the same rock today that you hit yesterday? Yeah, you know what? I was looking for it. <laughs> we had we had a, a special note in, in our notes, and uh, I went a little bit slow in that section. But uh, no, the car was okay, and uh, we just wanted to make it true. And we didn't have a fast time, but it didn't matter. But it was good, good rally, good roads. It was a tough event, but they did a good job to redo the schedule considering the, the problems with, with the fires, and uh, I really enjoyed it. The, these are proper rally roads. Cool. Let's uh, tell some, some of our viewers a little bit more about what you've got going on this season. You're well placed in the Canadian Rally Championship right now. How many more events are there and where do you sit currently in the competition for the uh, Canadian Rally Championship? Yeah, for the Canadian Rally Championship, there's still two rallies to go and we're leading. We have quite a good lead because we won uh, three of the four rallies and we got a second place. So we're in a good position to win that for a fifth time. And also this weekend with this result, we're just clinching our, I'm clinching my fifth North American Championship. So uh, it's wow. it, yeah it's pretty good and, and for nat it's the eighth time so it's crazy but uh <laughs> so hopefully we have a good run in the last two canadian rallies and we can we can make the canadian to it would be uh, canada and north america th this year again like last year so uh, we're pleased with that it's a good season three wins in canada two in the u.s so five wins overall it's not too bad on, only the two dnfs earlier in the year hurted us in this championship but it's okay it's a good season thanks for your time antoine thanks, congratulations man. all right we're gonna cruise over here Try to grab a uh, David Higgins really quick before he goes sneaking off. <laughs> David, can we grab you really quick? <laughs> so I, I recognized uh, that David was actually the biggest loser up here in the champagne spray because Ken got like a perfect aim at David's face. And, and he you, cheated, he started from higher up as well. Yeah, <laughs> oh he did do, didn't yeah. he? So uh, David's now swimming in and wearing most of Ken's champagne, I think. Uh, so David, the, the weekend obviously didn't go as you had planned initially, but uh, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, no, it was just um, frustrating more than anything because we knew, we knew we'd made some steps with the car. The car has been running awesome all weekend, but just didn't really get a chance to, to really show it. The last day was quite nice. It was 20 miles. The dust wasn't too bad, so we were able to, to push on pretty hard, to be honest, and I really enjoyed the last, the last stage. And, you know, showed a little bit of what it could have been, but at the same time, Ken played himself into the perfect position on the road, so he had all the advantages and deserved it. So if we were running first on the road, and last last night would have been a dream for us, but instead it was probably one of the worst nightmares, but in the same, saying that, that's that's the way that's the way it goes. It's just a little bit frustrating that, you know, we've we've had a great year. We've never finished lower than second in the two years we've been here now, but at the same time, we've had three rallies this year that we haven't been able to push as hard as we should have because of dust. and. As a racer, you want to go the faster you can go and drive these cars as fast as they can go. When you back off a little bit, nothing works very well and it starts getting much harder to drive again. So I enjoyed today. It was good. The organizer did a great job of sacrificing a event when it would have been very easy for them just to cancel it completely when we had the fire risk. So, sure. you know, so at least we've got out. We've got 78 cars start the rally. We've all been out there and we've all had a, had, had a good a good couple of days sport. So at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's different for a lot of people in the rally. Like for us, we're all about ultimately going as fast as you can for every split second of the road. Mm -hmm. Some of these guys, it's the adventure of finishing and the bigger that adventure becomes with dust and bad weather and bad conditions, it almost adds to their experience. It's right. So yeah. it's a different, it's a different thing but you know we've, we've it's been great and I'm you know really pleased for the Subaru team they've done an awesome job all year and 
we've finished every single rally we haven't seconds been our lowest position and that's not a bad thing to have really and you know we, we finished with the fastest time in the last stage just to just to go back with a little <laughs> least, bit of something at least your name is on there yeah. for a stage winner for one well anybody that that only knows david higgins existence here in the u.s he actually competes internationally quite often tell us just in in two seconds or less your most recent rally where was that uh, who was your big competition and how'd you finish yeah we, i was away driving for subaru china as a guest appearance um in just outside beijing and we, we like Patrick Sandell was probably my biggest rival driving for my old team I used to be with. We made a real big dogfight for, for two days on, on a tarmac rally over there and we will, we obviously we won the rally which was fantastic and it's, any extra seat time you can get is great and it, it all helps like the, the more seat time you get the, the bigger the level of competition you get the better it makes you as a driver. For sure. Uh, can you tell us anything about next season? Do you guys have anything sorted out for next season or are we going to see you back here in Subaru? Yeah, I obviously I hope so. That's the, that's the, into the plan. I, I love driving for this team. It's it's a, it's a great it's a great product. We love I love the car. I love the, the the guys do an awesome job. So we hopefully can come back and you know it'd be great if, if Ken's here as well and maybe a few other people can join because it's it's a great series. Some great roads here and you know the more the more competition we have, the better it will be for the whole series. So this is David Higgins, your 2012 National Rally America champion. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you. All right. Okay, where did Ken sneak off to? There he is. Yes, we'd we'd love yeah we'd love an interview. We've done a little bit of chasing Ken Block around this weekend. Clearly, like everybody else chasing him down the stages, nobody's caught him yet. But here we get a quick chance to check in with Ken Block. So, uh, hey, how's it going? You won a rally. You happy about that? Yeah, absolutely. I uh, <laughs> came here with a plan, and the plan worked out. Uh, so I'm really happy to be here and, and, and finish first. So never won Olympus before, so I'm really stoked to be here and, and be on top. So recently you just did a rally in Canada where you competed against Antoine. Tell us it was Rally Defeat. Tell us about that event, uh, event and how that went. Yeah, same thing. Went there, knew that the first four stages were pretty technical and rough and that if I really pushed hard, I could hopefully get a lead and kind of maintain it for the rest of the rally. Same thing that I tried to do here. And, both these events just, just worked out really well. I've really focused, obviously, so much on my notes for the past couple of years with WRC, just having to go to whole new levels, you know, to try and be fast there, and it's helped so much, obviously, coming back here. That it, that experience is unlike anything that I could have really gained, you know, here in America, especially with we only having one pass recce. So uh, it, it's great because my goal always has been to try and become the best driver that I possibly can. And it's, it's fun to kind of go through that whole process, have some wins, have some big failures, but without the failures, you're not going to learn. So I'm really stoked to be able to come out and, and take these last two wins because it really sort of shows kind of the pace and what I'm doing is, is in the, in the right, right direction. Yeah, it's working out. Uh, tell us really quick about Finland. Didn't that's the most recent WRC you did, right? The one with all the crazy fast jumps over crest. It's one of the most exciting looking WRCs on the calendar. How'd it go? Yeah, well, I got to do three WRC events this year. Uh, three of my favorite ones in in the whole world, uh, and Finland being the first time I'd ever been there. Uh, but I, you know, I did Mexico at the beginning of the year. Uh, did New Zealand, and then you know just recently did Finland. And the thing about doing only three WRC events in the year with practically no testing is it's it's just very difficult. You know, it's ha hard enough when you're only doing seven or nine events, but three makes it really difficult to go out and be able to compare your times against the best rally drivers in the world. You know, For sure. but you know I was pretty happy with my performance at both Mexico and New Zealand. I ended up ninth overall at both of those, which. For me, felt pretty good, uh, you know, because I had no testing in the car before either one of those events, uh, and then to be able to go to Finland for the first time ever and be running in tenth place uh, actually felt amazing. And unfortunately, on the last day, uh, we went over a jump and had a suspension piece break, so oh, I went I went from tenth place to a DNF, and and it was right before one of the most legendary stages in all of the WRC on Ampoia. So I dived. I have a video of wrecking, wrecking it, but I didn't actually get to race it. So really disappointed with that. So I have I have to go back someday. It's but it's truly one of the most amazing rallies I've ever been on. But it takes years to get up to speed there. It's so technical and so fast that if you don't have your notes perfect on all those crests, you're just going to be slow. So I was pretty stoked to be tenth overall and beating actually a couple um, older, really good WRC drivers that, that were there just. Uh, doing it for fun, but I was able to, to keep a decent pace and keep ahead of them. So, 
Tell us really quick, I know a lot of people want to know more about Ken's car, the HF HV Fiesta. Was this the Gymkhana car? Is this the WRC car? Is Does this car do anything? Does it? What, what's it do? What's this exact car do? Well, this car is built to basically do everything that I do here in the States. So it is not the car that I race in the WRC. That's a car that M Sport brings out for us. Uh, but this car started at M Sport based as a world rally car and then went to another shop and our engineer Ian in over there in England basically took it and modified it to work for Gymkhana, Rally and Rally Cross. So there's three completely different setups for this car, engine configuration, turbos, where the radiators go, different suspension, everything. So it's quite a nice piece of engineering, uh, but it's very, very difficult to build one car that can go win in all in three different disciplines, you know? Sure, sure. So it was a, a, a very difficult thing to, to, to build and do, but it's great that the Ford with the Fiesta has such a great base car in the WRC car for us to build it off of and build into this. So I'm really stoked. I mean, I've got a second at X Games with this in Rallycross, a fifth overall in Rallycross, uh, won three rallies with it. Uh, <laughs> You know, did Jim kind of five? I did Jim kind of four with this car also. So, it's this car has been through a lot and done a lot, and it's uh, just amazing what we've been able to do with this this little fun to drive Ford. Cool, great to see you. Congratulations to win Olympus 2012, the last event, 2012 National Championship. Ken Block. So this is Matthew Johnson. I'm going to sign off after the open class overall podium here from Olympus 2012. We're going to pick right back up in a second with the super production podium. Thanks for joining us. Here we are, we're at the podium for the Olympus Rally 2012 last event for the championship. In super production, uh, we've got Lachlan O'Sullivan is one super production for the weekend. He's also the national champion uh, for 2012. Second place in super production. Second, I'm just gonna let Paul do it. Co-driver Martin Burnley and Mike Goodwin. Yeah! In second place, he's usually on the other end of a lens, uh, is so he knows what the photographers are going through so we're welcome. We're glad to see them back Glad to see Chrissy here as well in second place in the 2000 Subaru WRX Co-driver Christy, Be Christy Beavis and driver Byron Garth And in first place the 2012 Super production champions in the 2011 Subaru WRX STI New dad, Lachlan O'Sullivan and co-driver Scott Putnam. Due to the fire restrictions, we had a really adjusted schedule that included teams having to drive a lot of dust last night in the late stages. Uh, that really did shake the field up. 
Uh, we expected to see David Sterex probably here on the podium as well, but he had a, a big off in a roll yesterday. So uh, Lachlan was able to sew up the championship. It's already open. Yeah, it's already open. Lachlan O'Sullivan driving a black car. You might recognize it's Raman Alagaman's car that Ladies he's actually and gentlemen, been competing against earlier in the season. Winners. First, second, and third for the Super Production 2012 Olympus Rally. <laughs> Champagne driver suits are just no good. That'll go nice with all the dust. Hey, congratulations. Well done. Thank we, you. we saw you guys zooming around out there on the 20 miler today at the, uh, the 90 right, about two miles in, where you go from a narrow bit to a wider, wider stretch. But okay. anyway, looked, looked to me like you may have found it necessary to use some handbrake action yes, through there yes, a little that bit. Was, that was very, uh, very useful this weekend. <laughs> yes, yeah. it was. In the, Especially on the, on the really tight stuff, it was very useful. The, uh, the really soft stuff, it came in very handy because the, the car wanted to push understeer. So the handbrake really came in handy. Cool. Tell us, uh, like, how many rallies you usually drive in a year? What are your plans? Are we going to see you in super production next year? Um, like, what's that? Been in super production now for a couple of years. Um, try to plan about seven events a year, depending on what our budget is. And as long as we keep the car upright, <laughs> and we can we can look forward to the next one. Cool. And uh, regionally, have you competed in other makes of cars and such here in the Northwest uh, um, before grabbing a Subaru? I had a. Had a Mazda 323 GTX all-wheel drive turbo. We did that for a while until that ended up rolling, and then we decided to step up into the Subarus. <laughs> rolling a car over is a really good excuse to take that next there leap forward and, and invest some more money. Well, congratulations. Good job this weekend. Great. We enjoyed watching you cruise Great. around out there. Great. Thank all right, man. Let's go uh, check in with second place. No stranger to camera equipment, although often he's behind it instead of in front of it. Byron Garth. And Chrissy Beavis, second place in super production this weekend. Um, let's cruise around here so we got the car in the background. Um, so, Byron, uh, how'd you expect the weekend to go? I mean, you guys, you and Chrissy had never run together before, and you've got some experience in these roads. And obviously, we've seen you as a fast driver in Subarus before, but like, what'd you anticipate in the weekend? Uh, I was a little bit timid uh, going in with Chrissy. I know she's such a good driver. I kind of wanted to prove that I was a good co driver, I wanted to prove I was a good driver. Uh, I was a little bit worried about the dust, but she she did a great job co-driving. That's why we're here. Cool. Uh, did you have some fun out there? It looked like you're having some fun uh, in the corners we saw you. Oh yeah, it was a blast. Uh, everything except for the dust. Um, yeah, like I said, great job uh, co-driving. It makes rally racing a lot funner when it's safe and you can go uh, fast through all the fives and sixes. What's the secret to surviving the nights like last night in the dust? Like, what did you have to do to just keep it together and get through the dust? It's really, really hard to do in the middle of the stage, isn't it? You know, you just go as fast as you can, and when you when you get worried or have a close off, then you just pull it back a notch, and that's what we had to do. Uh, Lachlan had us by probably 20 seconds on every stage, and uh, we just slowed down and kept it safe. There's a lot. There's two offs last night, and we didn't want to be one of them. Cool. Well, um, can you give any of the other new Northwest competitors an idea of a good way to get started in the sport if they're checking you out and looking at you to represent like the path they should take here in this region? Yeah, buy a used car, open light. That's probably the best class. I got one for sale. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Byron yeah. Garth's got a car for sale. S no, six grand, you can buy a car that's ready to go on the stage. And it's open light car, you learn momentum, it's the easiest way to get out there. Good advice from Byron. He knows a lot about carrying momentum. Look at him. He's on the podium here. Second place, super production from the 2012 uh, Olympus Rally. Thanks, Byron. Sure, yes. Thank you. Well done. Yeah, I'll get back okay. To All right. Behind the camera. No. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Let's see if we uh, get a quick uh, word or two with Lachlan and Scott. Step on up, big Step on up, big guys. Um, Hey, so we're standing here with Lachlan and Scott, Lachlan himself and Scott Putnam, the 2012 National Super Production Champions. Yes. Feels good to have that down, right? Freaking great. <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> no. Yeah, and you've got the whole family here to witness it. Um, My little daughter's here at the last minute. My wife uh, said, I'm, we're coming up. Uh, this is kind of a once in a lifetime deal. Let's do this. And so my little two and a half month year old that was born on 4th of July is up here to uh, celebrate with us. Pretty cool. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your car situation and why you're driving one of your competitors' cars this weekend. I guess uh, it's it's nice to have good friends, yes. right? You know how that goes? Yes. And uh, what, really what happened is we were hoping to wrap up the championship last event and we needed one starting point this event to make it happen. And uh, so we needed a car 
George Plasek, the owner of our car that we've been running all year long, wanted to finally run his own car. Poor guy, right? I've been in his car all year long. So uh, he decided he was going to run. We decided, let's put it together. And we were hunting around for cars, and Ramana was nice enough to say, well, I'll rent you my car for a buddy price. And what a guy. And it's a brilliant setup. i got to give hands all to Ramana for setting up a beautiful car. It was all good. Once we got our uh, his throat problem done after a few couple of stages, uh, and I could hear what he was saying. Uh, it was it was on, and the car was getting better and better. I wish there was quite a few more stages, and we would have had even more fun. It was yeah, good I, I hear that. Everybody was smiling on that 20 miler today. Scott, tell us quick. Uh, you having some trouble talking from the co-driver's seat? Oh, just the voice was going away the uh, initial few stages, and it seemed to get a little bit bat better as time went on. But still, had to deal with it again a little bit on this 20 miler, but got through it. Fair enough. Tell us about, as a co-driver, do you carry candy or anything? I know a lot of co-drivers carry some different things to, to eat on and stuff like that. Oh, I'd always carry a bag of cough drops, so I was sucking on those liberally all day today and yesterday. So, <laughs> I've got, I've got just keep to say about Scott. Yes, yeah. the first time he ever told me to slow down. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which stage? In the dust. Oh, in the dust. Last night. He'd like had it. He, huh? he, he was like, like, no, we're not doing this. I'm not reading you any more notes. <laughs> slow down. <laughs> good. No more notes for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, before we sign off from here, Lachlan, is there anybody you'd like to thank for that's been a supporter through the championship this year that's helped you get here? Thank you for asking. Yeah, we've got Lucas Oil that's been massively huge help. We always have setups here for anybody that needs oil, any any product at all that Lucas sells. We sell here at events now. Um, we've got Moy Subaru helping us out, and now we have just just hopped on board is uh, Wolf LED Systems, uh, WolfLEDSystems.com if you're looking into it. And we're going to have some new lighting for next year that's going to be massive. It's going to be coming on strong for rally. Excellent. Do you have any um, indication about your next year's plans? Uh, a little up in the air right now. Um, it'd be incredible to do open. Um, we're finishing first Americans here in the Ra National Rally Championship. Uh, we're third overall in the, you know, even, you know, SP we won, but we jumped sure. everybody for third overall yeah. uh, with this decent finish today. And uh, we're just here to prove that if anybody's out there and, you know, we, we would be the people to take aboard. Um, but, you know, there's we've got some backup stuff going on, too, in case, you know, SP is a great, great class. Mm -hmm. It's uh, even across the board in regards to cars and uh it's you get nine to 12 cars at least and i'm sure there's going to be more next year and mm -hmm. with subaru aboard for that and that's another reason we went to subaru this year so we, uh, for this last event is that we could actually afford this event oh that makes a lot of sense to me as well so congratulations guys congratulations on your event and on your championship you're very welcome okay we're going to cruise back here and let the two-wheel drive cars take the podium and we will be back in a moment to cover the two-wheel drive podium here at the Olympus Rally 2012 Rally America National Championship. Here at the finish of the Olympus Rally, we're at the Champagne Spray Podium. We're about to award the two-wheel drive uh, winners, um, top three. Paul's just going through the kind of the process of how they'll do that before he passes out the champagne. We'll just cover that and show you how that uh, announcement goes, and then we'll get some interviews with each driver and co-driver. The two-wheel drive championship was not completely decided until this weekend. Chris Plessy had the most likely chance to win it, but uh, ACP had a chance to come in and win if Chris didn't finish, and he could have taken the two-wheel drive championship away from him. Um, Eddie McNelly, Fast Eddie McNelly, and Ole Holter have been hanging in there all season, putting in some solid finishes between wild crashes, and we've got some footage of one of those. Um, and it looks like they've uh, taken a nice third place here, and they well, may be third or fourth like nationally you, uh, for the season. So yeah, we'll tune into the championship uh, awards here. Of the national two-wheel drive class of the 2012 Olympus Rally. 
in third place, all the way from the East Coast, driving the Team O'Neill 2012 Ford, Fo Ford Fiesta, excuse me. Oli Holter and Ed McNelly, third place. In second place, driving the 2012 Scion XD, Jeremy Wimpy and Andrew Comrie Picard. And taking first place, not only today, but the 2012 two-wheel drive champions. In two-wheel drive, the 2012 Ford Fiesta driven by Alex Kirani and Chris Duplessis. And now if the competitors would climb aboard their cars, we're gonna give them something to spray. Unfortunately, Jeremy had to step away. things that car engineers don't think of when they build the cars. <laughs> Trying to get some cool shutter noises in there because we're doing some video here. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get the uh, awards out for these guys. They're they're uh, trophies that'll sit on the mantle and they'll brag about for years here. We'll pass those out really quick, then we'll zoom in there and get some interviews. Looks like the rest of the Scion team was prepared for ACP to come spray them all with champagne, and so they had some water guns there in the store. If I could get my hands on one of those in a little while, maybe we can come up with some fun ideas to uh, to do with them. And two, okay, cool. So, <laughs> it's like, and then and then the camera gets champagne on it, and the and the game's really dialed up a notch. Hey, so we're standing here with third place two-wheel drive at Olympus, Fast Eddie McNelly and Oli Holter, his co-driver. Uh, we also had this similar conversation in Oregon, yep. right, didn't we? Uh, how is this rally different, and how did you drive differently here? Uh, you know, we just drove to conserve the car pretty much. You know, we, we wanted to finish the rally, so we, we drove as hard as we could without breaking the car. You know? What do you mean you wanted to finish a rally? There, there's times you don't finish? Uh, yeah, they, you know, this time. There's only one this year, but... You know, we, we just wanted to finish this rally, made it good, because, uh, you know, we're going up do another rally in two weeks, so we need to conserve the car for that, too. So Okay, a Canadian event? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah we're going up to British Columbia. How do you think the two-wheel drive competition compares the uh, U.S. to Canada? Right now, it's tougher down here. Um, there is some competition up there, and, you know, I'm looking forward to racing them guys, too. So Cool. Well, uh, Eddie, great to see you, man. Congratulations on third place. Oli? Hey, where does that put you guys in the championship this year for two-wheel drive? That puts us third place in two-wheel drive. You will be third place for the season as well. Hey, that's a big accomplishment. Great job, guys. And you managed to get us some of the coolest crash video we've gotten all season <laughs> was you guys at 100 Acre Wood. That, well, he was backing that sucker into a corner about three times faster than he should have been going. Did a cool backwards weird pirouette up into the woods. It was awesome. All right, guys. Good, go good job. I know. you got to go there once. All right, let's zoom over here and uh, get ACP really quick. Andrew, can we get a quick interview yeah, before? A group photo. Okay. Uh, can we do it right after? Yes, we we'll do that. Yeah, yes, so yes. You're ready. Let's, let's do it. Let's do the okay. All right. In the background. Okay. Yeah. Have them. Uh, you guys can make faces in the background. Yeah, yeah. Stand in the background. Put, put bunny ears on me or whatever. All right. Yeah. Or, sh or sh shoot him in the back of the head with the uh, yeah, spray guns. Sure, bring it on. All right, so standing here with ACP, Andrew Comet Picard. Uh, Jeremy's not already headed home, but uh, these guys had an eventful weekend. They had a real big struggle in the dust, just like a lot of teams did. Um, how did it end up for you? What were your expectations coming here? 
Well, we really worked hard to try to win this event and try to win the championship. And uh, we came out early this week. We tested. We practiced some stuff. And we were leading the event uh, midway through uh, yesterday through the day. And then we got some bad turn in the dust. We got behind Will, and and his car kicks up a lot of dust. So that dropped us back about a minute and a half. So we knew that today was going to be a big battle. And uh, we went out, fought hard. We got within 20 seconds of Chris. Uh, Will blew his prop shaft, I guess. And uh, so it means we're still second, but it was a valiant second. Uh, we drove fast. We won the long 20-mile stage. Um, twice, I think both times we won it. Cool. Uh, and that, that's good for next year. The guys are back at the shop. Basically, this guy just flew in from the shop because he was building the new, next car. We're about two thirds, three quarters away building the new car, building for 2013, and we think we can win the championship. So we're, we're where we want to be. The team's come a huge distance this year. Uh, the car's amazing. Sion has been amazingly supportive. Greddy. It's just been um, a terrific year. I'm so happy. You know, I got to say, I've, I got to compete in four wheel drive cars for a long time, but I'm, I'm having more fun here. This is a great crew. Uh, they've done an amazing job, and they're now. First rate. We're gonna win 2013. Hey, let's see your fingernails. This is a big. Yeah, this is a really. The anybody that knows ACP <laughs> and his uh, Mitsubishi Evo days are, is aware that this is a vastly different uh, experience of ACP at the end of a rally well, than it used to be. Hey, the funny thing is, you know, when you're worried about building your own car and, and fixing your own car, you can't concentrate as much on the driving. I got this whole crew of guys here. The car goes out waxed every time. You know, that's how professional it is. I just have to worry about what stage we go into. Jeremy and I can strategize where we're gonna push. How should we drive the car? How, how are we gonna win? It's a huge advantage. So cool. I'm, I'm really I'm proud of these guys, and it's made my job that much easier. Where does that put you in the championship for the end of the season? We're, we're second in the championship. We would have had to win here, uh, and Chris would have had to have a bigger problem than he had. So <laughs> basically, Chris did exactly what he had to do here, and he put in a great year also, you know, really uh, really valiant drives. We both had a DNF, so it kind of equalized out. He didn't make one event, and we broke at one. So it kind of it was kind of a pretty straight fight, uh, and we'll take it into 2013 and, and take him down then. Now that we have uh, even more experience. Cool, good to hear. Yep. Glad you'll be back. Thanks, guys. Takes care. Take care. ACP there. Scion, we're getting you next year. <laughs> Happy about his run here this weekend. All right, cruising right over. Uh, who's this guy? This guy that smiles a whole bunch these days. Uh, Chris Duplessis is your 2012 Rally America two-wheel drive national champion. Uh, how many times have you done that? Uh, this is our third championship, third national championship, so uh, they get better and better. Okay, <laughs> bigger and bigger smiles. Yeah. Right, so coming here this weekend, you had to do a few things right to make sure you won the championship. What? Tell us about how you stood coming in here. Well, we really did things right early in the season. Um, you know, we had three wins in a second, uh, so it was very hard for anyone to catch us, but uh, we basically just need to finish, um, and, and that's what we did, and we actually finished on top in the Fiesta, so that's perfect. So everyone's curious about your experience driving WRC Academy, and I know you've been working on your notes a lot there. Do you find that your basic driving is fast enough and your notes are where you've got to pick it up, or are those guys that much more experienced in the driving department as well? Um, yeah, the, the biggest thing is probably the notes. Um, I think when I have a good stage, um, you know, I can be right with them. But, yeah, trusting the notes is the biggest thing. So, you know, working with Alex and getting that trust down, that's, that's where it's at. If you were talking to young folks now that are either already starting in rallying or wanting to get started in rallying and make a real you know big push to do as much rallying as they can do what advice would you give them about how to get started in sport um, I definitely go to a rally school I mean Dirtfish rally schools help me out uh, an awesome place to go hang out and learn learn the ins and outs um, and then come hang out at rallies I mean this is what I did uh, I started working them and now I've been racing them so uh, just get in get involved cool Chris Duplessy everybody your winner two-wheel drive Olympus Rally 2012. <laughs> nice to have Thank you, man. You. Congratulations. Take care. All right. <laughs> All right, that's it. It's about to be it when we get set up into a spot here. That's it from Rally America National Championship for 2012. We've just completed the last event. It was an event that got jerked around because of some fire concerns, but we decided the finals for the Super Production Championship and two-wheel drive. We already knew what the overall championship was coming in here. It's been an exciting couple days. Thanks for coming out to join us. Uh, we'll see you next year.